it's Liv from Lenscrafts. I'm coming by today to share with you um, painting with mica powders on baked clay. I've got lots of different brands. This is the Illuminolat um, brand. This one is Cotton Candy. That's just to show you. This is Pearl X in the Antique Bronze. Lucky I could read that. This black writing on the Pearl X containers is really hard to read. This is just a mica powder um, that I got off an Etsy site that is perfectly wonderful to work with. This is Primary Elements, and this one is the Emperor's Gold, which is my favorite. <laughs> and this is um, also Primary Elements, and this one is Nutmeg. Um, you can use Perfect Pearls. I just don't happen to own any. So, call me weird, but I just don't. Never had the opportunity to even purchase any. Alright, so I'm going to be mixing this with um, some of my glaze. So, I'll get that ready and I'll be right back. Alright, I've mixed up four of the colors over here with um, some of my polymer varnish in the mat. By Goldens. I've mixed up the eBay one I bought. The primary elements in the Emperor Gold, the primary elements in the Nutmeg, and the Pearl X in the Antique Bronze. Alright. And they're all four very different colors. Um, this one stays really true to the color just mixed with the glaze. This one um, kind of has an orange, not really orange base, maybe an amber base. So it does change just a little bit. Um, this one also stays very true to the color, the Pearl X. And this other primary elements um, is actually pretty true to the color. It's a very coffee colored bronze. So I'm going to start with that first, the darkest color first. Don't ask me why. <laughs> So you can add um, mica powders to your glazes to paint anything. Paint it on paper, wood, polymer clay, resin. Uh, that may be all I want that on. Just the little collar around the bottom. Alright, then the other bronze, I'm going to do her hair. They may come out a little closer than I thought. Oh, they're actually kind of different. Sorry, I've got a runny nose this morning. So I'll finish up the hair and I'll be right back. Last but not least, I'm going to color the um, umbrella. Now this, I'm not going to worry about it being 
two coats are completely covered or whatever I'm gonna sand this back so that it only shows in the details on the umbrella not on the whole thing finish this let it dry and then I'll be back all right now this is just a drywall sanding block one I've used for quite a while so it's been worn in I'm just gonna try to knock back some of the gold away from the detail in the umbrella without <laughs> trying to without touching the rest of it Now, I could get a flat piece of sandpaper to get under the uh, hairpins here, but I'm not really too worried about it. Just a little off of her hair bow. All right. Now, like I said, if you wanted to, you could put a gloss sealer over the top of it. I will come back and do that at some point. It shouldn't be just a day or two before my supplies get here. I did order them a while ago. All right. So there's how to paint baked clay with mica powders. All right. I hope everybody enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.